Hey, this is a video response to Digital Souls. Uh, thing about being pregnancy. It's too young to be pregnant. I've been sort of wanting to talk a little bit about uh, about this subject. I'm glad you raised the issue. There's a uh, now. I don't. I don't want to come across as being for teenage pregnancy. Uh, obviously, it's probably better to plan it. Um, but I read an interesting book once. I can't remember the specifics, but it talked about um, basically biology, and it was talking about reproduction. And different different situations, okay? Different people in different situations are gonna have different. What do you want to call it? In biology, uh, environmental pressures. Um, different challenges for raising children. And one of the things the book brought up is people in, for example, inner cities and ghettos, especially black people, um, the percentage, the chances that the fathers are going to die young is a lot higher than, say, you know, white suburbia. Um, there's a lot of, I wish I could have, have the book because there was a lot of, there was a lot of factors in there. There was like, you know, education level, uh, the chance of getting out of that environment and getting to something better, um, the level of violence, the all those things. Um, and they suggested that when the kids are really young, say, you know, maybe even 13 to maybe 15, you know, they're still at home. They probably still have at least one parent, a mother looking after them, um, maybe even a father if they're lucky. Uh, and their boyfriends aren't dead yet. So that's a good time to raise a child, bring a child into the world, because they still have a stable at-home environment, and the child will probably live a good five years before that environment maybe changes and they get booted or before their boyfriends or husbands or whoever die. Um, so it gives their child a good start in life. The book was basically suggesting that the teenage pregnancy rates that can be shown to be higher in these, in these sort of ghetto situations is bio biology. It's a biological response to pressures. Uh, it is a method for ensuring survival for your, for your young. It's an interesting take and, and I think it might have some validity to it. And if you choose either subconsciously or, uh, or, or, or consciously to have them young because that will ensure their survival, it's hard to say that that's wrong. But again, I think it's definitely better to wait. Um, Definitely the protection yourself, the condoms, uh, is is something you need to be doing, regardless of your age. Um, you know, getting a getting a Depro shot or or Norplant or any of the patch or birth control, those are fine for married couples, um, but they're not good because of STDs. Uh, you, the only thing that really protects you against that are condoms and abstinence. Well, we know abstinence won't work, so. What do you have left? Uh, if you don't use a condom, you're really at risk for far, things far, things that will screw up your life far, much, far greater than having a kid. A kid doesn't screw up your life necessarily. A kid is a blessing in a lot of ways. Um, and there are other options. You know, there's always abortion and adoption. Um, yes, I said the word abortion. Um, there are other biologic options you have. But um, you don't want to be put in that situation. So it's like the bonus with a condom is that it protects against pregnancy. And maybe it's also a good idea if you're really worried about it to be on the pill too. Uh, but men and women both need to initiate this. It's, it's kind of often put on the woman to do the, the birth control. And that's just ignorance and uh, stupidity. It's in a way unfortunate that men don't become at least partially pregnant in some way, so they have, you know, they have a, a, a motivation, you know, to be safe about it. But I mean, there are things like herpes. One in five people have herpes. Herpes is permanent. There's no cure. One in five. So that means you have a 20% chance that the person you're having sex with has herpes. You know, I want to get a t-shirt that says, what, 
you know, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. And on the back, I want it to say, except, of course, if you get herpes. That's just one. There are, I mean, you know, there's AIDS. There's, there's plenty of others. Um, there's the genital warts. You know, that can cause cancer. Um, there are diseases, including that one, that can, that can mess up a woman's plumbing and she can't have children. I mean, there's some heavy stuff out there. Um, sex is definitely a heavy responsibility. A lot of kids doing it, it's probably not too wise. Sex is biology. It is, as Digital Soul says, why we're here, to procreate. It has been programmed into us for, you know, millions of years. This is what we do. This is what the purpose of our existence on this planet is, is to have children. Some might argue with me on that, but at least that's my own personal feeling. So I believe all the things that happen when you have children can be linked to biology in a way. So if you're at a nightclub and you see this, you know, hot chick or the hot chick sees some player, you know, and they want to hook up, there's there is a reason both of them think that that person would be a good partner to breed with. Now maybe it's not very good. Maybe not when you think when you add the rational thought list to it. You know, does they have do they have a job? Are they responsible? Blah blah blah. But on a pure animal level, maybe the player is really strong and he's got some good physical ge genetics. The woman maybe has uh, you know, I don't know, big breasts, and so maybe she can that that sort of is like, oh, she'll be good to feed my baby or whatever. You know, maybe she's got a personality that seems adventurous and powerful to him. So whatever the reasons, I mean, it could just be the pheromones, I don't know, it's so complicated. They, uh, they go have sex. Now that, they are not thinking reproduction, but their, their bodies are. <laughs> their, their subconscious mind is certainly thinking that. And I think that's something you need to realize. That every time you think this person, you, you think you want to have sex with that person, your body is saying, I want to have a baby with that person. So that, that's something that I think maybe if you think that way, you'll take a little more precautions because you are fighting nature and we all know that fighting nature is a losing battle. So condoms break and fail in all forms of birth control. Um, and they also have side effects. You know, the, the hormonal ones have side effects. Uh, and those can be kind of nasty. Um, they can do any number of things to you. Uh, so, you know, there, there's, there's my a couple couple opinions on the subject. I guess I want to mention one more thing before I go, if I have time. Some teenagers get pregnant because they think that a child will fix a situation. They'll think that it'll fix a relationship or they'll think it'll give them some sort of gratification, some sort of self-esteem. They think they'll get something from it, uh, attention from somebody. Maybe they think their mother will finally pay attention to them with a baby around. Maybe they'll think their boyfriend will stay and love them with a baby. You know, maybe they think that they can't give anything to this world because they're worthless. At least they could do is have a child. Maybe that would bring something into the world. I don't know. There are many, many sort of dysfunctional reasons to have a child. Um, so don't do that. Have a child because you want to have a child. Have sex because it's fun. But remember that sex is geared towards that end. So if you're doing it, you need to be focused on that. You need to at least be addressing that issue because that's what you're doing. You're doing dry runs or wet runs, or however you want to look at it. So thanks for raising the issue. Thanks for raising the issue, digital soul. And I'll see you when I see you.